Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, today we meet again for our uh, group discussion for uh, six, uh, group discussion six. Okay, first of all, we introduce ourselves first. I am Noraini Binti Ali, J46289. Hi, my name is Zari Sofia Binti Daud, J46278. Hi, my name is Rosemary, J46610. Hi, my name is Hakim Okoyum, J46591. Hi, I am Tibia, J46304. Hi, I'm Nur Hafiza Binti Ramlan, J46647. Hi, I'm Siti Shazlin. My metric number is J46294. Hi, I am Wan Muhammad Azam. My number is J6636. Hi, my name is Muhammad Khalif bin Muhammad Uzi. My metric number is J465 X6. Okay, everybody. Uh, we come again uh, this week for our discussion and we have finalized uh, finalized our uh, exercise which is uh, jogging, squat, scissors, skit and hiking. Uh, to, so here we want to choose the best three exercise to include into the pamphlet. For me, choosing the best exercise depend on our fitness goal and also our preference. First of all, uh, we look at jogging. It is, I think, great for cardiovascular health, burning calories and improving endurance. And it is also a good way to clear up your mind and also enjoy the outdoor, uh, um, outdoor views. And why we are doing squats, it is, I think, excellent for us uh, building lo uh, lower body strength, particularly in the types, hips, and buttocks. Uh, they also engage your core and improve balance. And for the scissor skate, it is focused on strengthening the core, particularly the lower ab uh, abdominal muscle. And I think it is good uh, exercise for improving core stability and strength. And last but not least, uh, we choose maybe hiking, which is uh, hiking combines uh, cardiovascular benefits with strength training, especially for the legs. And it also allows us to enjoy the nature and can be a great stress uh, reliever. Each of these exercises has its own benefit. So the best for us differs depends on what we are looking to achieve. So what do you think, Sophia? And in your opinion, which three exercises will you choose to put in our pamphlet? Either jogging, scissor ski, hiking, or maybe squat. Which one do you prefer? Mm, hi, guys. Thank you, Nani. We meet again. Uh, throughout our discussion, we explored uh, various types of exercise that can be done to maintain health and fitness. However, personally, I prefer jogging as my choice of exercise. It is uh, easy to do, offers numerous health benefits, and fits well into my daily routine. Jogging not only helps improve stamina and physical strength, but also provides mental relaxation uh, while enjoying the surrounding environment. And uh, for me, jogging offers numerous uh, benefits for overall uh, health and fitness. It is an uh, excellent cardiovascular exercise that strengthens the heart, uh, improves blood circulation, and helps lower to risk, uh, the risk of the heart disease. Uh, additionally, jogging is uh, in weight management by burning calories and boosting metabolism. It also enhances endurance, builds uh, stronger muscles, and improves bone density, contributing to better uh, physical strength, and beyond physical benefit, jogging help reduce stress, improve uh, mood, and promote mental clarity, uh, clarity through the release endorphins. As a simple and accessible exercise activity, jogging is a great way to maintain a healthy and active, uh, active lifestyle. Hmm. Wow, very good explanation, Sophia. As a refreshment for us when we talk about jogging as well. And I agree with you that there are so many benefits uh, we get by jogging. And Mary, what about you? What do you think? Uh, hey guys, uh, for me, I will choose hiking 
Because for me, hiking is a very, very easy go back exercises that we can do everywhere and any day we want to. Hiking can be a great way to improve our physical and mental health. Other than that, hiking can help you become more healthy through many ways that can give many advantages to our lifestyle. For example, cardiovascular healthy. Uh, for me, hiking is a great cardiovascular exercises that can help improve your heart healthy and reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. It can help increase your heart rate, improve blood flow, and strengthen your heart and lungs. And also muscle strength and, and endurance. Hiking involves walking uphill and downhill, which can help strengthen our leg muscle and improve your endurance. It can also help strength, strengthen your core muscle, especially if you carry a backpack or hike on unhaven tear. So and, uh, another one is mental, our mental health. Hiking in nature can help reduce stress, improve mood, and boost overall mental health. Being in the nature can help you feel more relaxed. Reduce, reduce anxiety and depression and improve your overall well-being. And the last one is our weight management. Hiking is a great way to burn calories and lose weight, especially if you hike on a hill or mountain terrain. The number of calories you burn while hiking depends on your weight, the terrain, and the intensity of your hike. So for me, hiking has helped me a lot to disconnect from, uh, to reconnect from daily routine and connect with nature, be more present and fill my brain with oxygen. So it's an so it's for for me hiking is an activity that everyone can do with no major prior preparation. So, uh, how about you, Hafiza? Do you agree with me? I agree with you, Mary. Hiking can help us improve physical health by strengthening muscle, boosting cardiovascular fitness, and enhancing balance balances, while also promoting mental well-being by reducing stress, improving mood, and fostering a deep connection with nature, all of which contribute, contribute to a health, healthier, more balanced lifestyle. How about you, Tivia? Uh, honestly, after listening to all the input, I think we are making an excellent choice with jogging, hiking. So these exercises are not only easy to do, but they also provide a wide range of benefits. Like jogging or hiking uh, are both fantastic for cardiovascular health, which is essential for maintaining a healthy heart and boosting endurance. So what uh, they are incredibly uh, effective for strengthening the abdomen and improving uh, balance. So plus you can do, do them any, anywhere, uh, whether it's in your, no, uh, jogging you can do in your indoor as well, right? With the, with the machine. And also you can hike, uh, hike to the favorite places. Such as that. So there's no need for special equipment or gym, gym membership. <laughs> so how about you, Shazdrin? I totally agree with you, Tivia. Scissor kicks are such a great relaxed exercise. You don't need to craft out time specially for them. You can do them while chilling on the couch, watching your favorite show, or even when you're scrolling through social media. It's one of those exercises that doesn't feel like a workout, but it's still doing wonder for your course. Honestly, I think that why scissor kick would be so appealing to people who don't normally work out. It's super easy, doesn't require a lot of space, and you can do it anytime. Uh, that's the kind of exercise we need to encourage more people to get involved in. And like you mentioned, 
Jogging and hiking are awesome too. Hiking offer a full body workout, especially for the legs, and jogging is fantastic for endurance. Both of these are activities you can do outdoor, in nature, or even in your neighborhood. We can encourage everyone, no matter how busy they are, to start incorporating more movement into their, uh, into their days. Whether they're at home or out in nature, these exercises are easy to make part of any lifestyle. Me? For me? Oh, sorry. Sorry. For me, I love all three exercises. Jogging is very easy to do and can be done by anyone, even if they have no experience. By jogging regularly, the blood flow in the body will be better and indirect, indirectly lower the risk of our heart, 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 heart attack, high blood pressure and stroke. As for the scissor kick, it's a simple and effective core exercise that requires no equi equipment. It is a great way to st strengthen the ab abdomen, abdominal muscle and improve flexibility. So these two exercises can be performed anytime and anywhere. Hiking is a little difficult to do because to do hiking, we need someone with experience, guide us, and it's best to have someone accompany us every, every time we do it. But there, but there is no denying that hiking is very good and uh, for mental and body. Okay, nice. For me, I choose more to jogging because jogging can improve cardiovascular health. Jogging strengthens the heart, improve circulation, and boost overall overall cardiovascular health. It can help reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and high blood pressure. Furthermore, jog jogging also can help us, such as weight management, mental health benefits. Accessibility, buoy endurance, improve joint and bone health, social and motivational, convenient, and boost sleep. Thank you, Azam. Actually, other than jogging, I also choose hiking because it is an excellent activity that offers the wide range of physical, mental, and emotional benefit. Uh, just like uh, Mary said just now. Uh, physically, it strengthens the body by building endurance, improving cardiovascular health, and enhancing uh, muscle tone, especially in the legs and core. It also helps burn calorie make, uh, burns calories, making it an effective way to manage weight uh, while enjoying the beauty of nature. Uh, hiking is particularly uh, benefic uh, ben beneficial for mental health as it reduces stress, uh, boosts mood, and provide a sense of calm and relaxation uh, through explore uh, the natural surroundings. And the challenge of conquer, conquering uh, trails and reaching peaks foster a sense of the uh, accomplishment and builds realizations. Uh, additionally, hiking allows uh, individual to explore breathtaking landscape, connect with the environment, and spend quality time with family and friends, making it a rewarding experience for both body and mind. Yeah, uh, I like with Sophia's suggestion. By doing hiking activities, I think it indirectly educates the soul and the spirit to continue to dare to take up the challenge to conquer the road and maybe to reach to the top, fostering a sense of achieve achievement and building a resilience. What about you, Mary? Uh, I started hiking more frequently in 2018 and oh. it helped me improve my physical condition clear my mind and success in my career and relationship has it absorbed a negative energy and replaced that with peace and joy. So for me, if you are the beginning to start hiking, entire you are the person that dislike to do that. It is important to start slowly and gradually increase your distance and intensity because it is so, also important to wear a priori, a priori seats, clothing and footwear Stay hydrated and bring snack and other supply as need. If you have any healthy concern, it is important to speak with a healthcare professional before starting a hacking program. Sorry to interrupt, guys. Uh, I am in a way of you, Mary. It's 
uh, it is not easy to hike to the top of the mountain. For me, that's a big thing. Do you all want to know what is more interesting about hiking and jogging? Hiking this mountain uh, lets us know who our, our friends are who care about us. When we hike with friends, sometimes there are friends who live as and they are also loyal one who wait with us. For me, this way of hiking is the most effective way for us to get to know our friends. Other than that, it is the same as jogging. Sometimes they are friends who leave us and they are also loyal ones who wait with us. Do you agree with me, Shazlin? How about you, Shazlin? I completely agree with you, Hakim. Uh, both activities often reveal who your true friends are as they test not only physical endurance, but also emotional and social connection. When hiking up a mountain, for instance, it's not just about the physical challenge, but about the way you bond with your friend, how they support you, and how they stick with you through difficult moments. Some people might fall behind or rush ahead. But those who stay with you or help you along the way are the ones who truly care. It's the same with jogging. Some friends may push ahead while others might pace themselves with you. Making sure you don't feel alone. It is those moments are uh, camera riding that you see who value the relationship and that's what makes the experience special. What do you think, Sophia? Sofia, your microphone, Sofia. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, I agree with Shazlin just now. Uh, actually, hiking in a group offers numerous benefits that enhance both of the experience and overall well-being of participating, uh, participants. And first, it fosters uh, a sense of teamwork uh, as group members support and motivate each other uh, to tackle challenge trails. And this shared uh, effort strength, uh, strength uh, relationship and creates memorable bonding moments. Additionally, group hiking provides a safer env environment as having multiple people ensure better preparedness for expecting unexpected situations such as uh, injuries or navigation issue. And it also uh, encourages accountability, make it uh, easier to stay consistent and committed to the activity. Uh, moreover, hiking in a group uh, allows individuals to share knowledge, exchange experience, and enjoy social interaction with both mental well-being and reduced stress. And lastly, they share joy uh, of exploring nature and uh, achieving goals together make the group's hiking uh, a fulfilling and enjoyable uh, activity. Hmm, Sophia, I agree with you that hiking in a group allow us to share knowledge, Asian experience and also enjoy social interaction. That's good, I think. And so far, we had discussed jogging and hiking, right? And we all agree that jogging and hiking will put uh will we will put it in our pamphlet and but we all have to choose one more exercise which will be included in our pamphlet so uh, too. So among the other, the other exercise we have discussed, such as squat, barefoot, scissor skin, and so on, which one do you agree that we should include the pamphlet? You all said before that uh, scissor skin also good. And what do you think, Hakim? Any opinions? Uh, for me, uh, I will choose scissor kick from squat and purpose because I like activity that are more relaxed and this activity also puts pressure on the stomach. For me, don't continue this activity if your stomach feels pressure because it can cause your stomach to cramp. Even though this activity seems relaxed, but we must still have to be careful. Besides that, only leg move movement is uh, necessary to do this activity. And this activity is not tiring. How about you, Azam? Okay, thank you, Hakim. For me, I think squat much better because squat also offer a range of benefit, making it one of the most popular and effective exercise. Here are some reasons why I might choose squat. First, build lower body strength. Second, enhance core strength. Third, can increase mobility. 
uh, four, boost metabolism and fat loss. Five, improve functional fitness. Six, promote bone health. Seven, versatile and adaptable. And lastly, can improve athletic performance. Uh, for example, squat are uh, often a key part of athletic training because they devel develop the stretch power and explosiveness need, need for sport that in require jumping, sprinting, and rapid change of direction. So what do you think, Tibia? That's a great choice example. But for me, scissor kicks are definitely a more relaxed option compared to squats or burpees. What I like about them is, is that they don't require intense effort and they can be done pretty easily without causing too much strain. However, it's important to note that just like you said, they still target the core effectively. If done improperly, uh, though, they might put some pressure on the stomach. So it's always good to listen to your body and stop if you feel any discomfort. But if we are talking about the overall benefits, scissor kicks are a great exercise for building core strength, which is so important for stability and posture. Unlike squats and burpees, which focus on the lower body and can be quite demanding scissors. So scissor kicks give us the flexibility to work on strengthening the core without being too tiring. Plus, you can do them anywhere, making them easy to add to any routine. So... As I say, I agree with Hakim. Scissor kicks are a great choice for those who prefer prefer something that's not good, uh, not too exhausting, but still effective in the long run. How about you, Mary? Mary, you are mute. Uh, so I totally agree with agree with you, and also to Azam, Buffy can ever strong reaction, and some people love them while other hate them. A uh, Buffy is an advanced exercise that show up in workout class, personal training session, and at home fitness program. So it is a challenging exercises, but it may be easy, 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 easy to master than you realize. Plus, the healthy benefit of Buffy make them worthy the extra effort. So, other than that, a Buffy is a full body movement that engages your upper, upper cone and lower body muscle. So, it does more for you than isolation exercises. They target one muscle group at one time, which our chest, shoulder, abdominal, hamstring, and glute. So, how about you, Hafiza? I agree with you, Mary and Azam. Squat and burpees are quite rough. For those of us who work all day, it is certainly difficult for us to straighten straighteners exercise. I recommend the kicks. It is more re relaxing. Weight can also give us many benefits, which is increased core strength, decreasing lower back pain by strengthening and develop all the necessary core muscle that helps stabilize your spine and make sure that we can move without pain. Scissor kicks also help tone abs by strengthening abs to protect our spine and scissor kick fix imbalance. What unique about this exercise is its ability to strengthen the core muscle as a unit you have to be able to contract multiple muscles groups to perform this movement. And it is technically a unilateral exercise since we are alternating on one leg at the time of moving in, in unison. What I like about this is a kick is that they are free. We can, we can do it everywhere. All we need is a comfortable area such as a bedroom or living room or, or while watching TV. What about you, Tibia? I completely agree with Habiza and Noreni. Scissor so kicks are a great choice, especially for those who us have busy schedules and don't have the energy of more intense focus like squats or burpees. And as Habiza mentioned, scissor so kicks are also benefit for our core strength. And how about you, Noreni? Nani, we don't hear you. Nani, on mic. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, I agree with Afiza too that uh, scissors kick is easier and more relaxing and there is no real reason not to do any exercise within 24 hours a day. And what about you, Sazlit? Yeah, I agree with Hafiza and Norani. Scissor kick are more relaxed and you can do them while watching TV or any time really. You can even exercise while scrolling through your social media. So to encourage more people to exercise, what do you think about including jogging, hiking and scissor kick in our pamphlet? Totally agree with me. Go. Okay, 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 Nani. You can. Oh, okay. Uh, meaning that Kalish uh, agree with uh, us, right? And roughly yeah, yeah. from this discussion, it can be concluded that we all agree to include three main exercises in our pamphlet, which is jogging, hiking, and also scissors kick. We have had an interesting discussion, I think, for tonight because all members understand that in how uh, the important how to do it and also benefit to our body health. And thanks to everyone. Uh, get uh. You gave a very good thoughts. Uh, any uh, conclusion you want to make, uh, Tivia? Sure. To sum up, I think we had a productive and insightful discussion. Mm -hmm. We all agreed that incorporating jogging, hiking and scissor kicks into our pamphlet is a great idea. So these exercises are accessible, easy to do and offer a range of health benefits which makes them perfect to encouraging a wider audience to stay active. So I'm happy that we understand all the importance of these